make the queue invisible. You walk into your living room and there is a pile of chips on your sofa next to your phone. Your inclination towards indulging in a bag of chips and doom scrolling through social media kicks in. You find yourself for the next 5 hours finishing the entire bag of chips and procrastinating on your assignment that's due in an hour. Your environment has been prompted with cues that trigger habits. When you see the chip bag, you want to eat it. When you see your phone and its apps, you tend to open social media. Unintentional habits waste a lot of time and can lead to overstimulation. Making the queue invisible by removing it from your environment can help remove the initial trigger. Put your bag of chips away from your zone of productivity. Turn off social media notifications. You will find that resisting bad habits requires less willpower, as without the queue, your brain doesn't even have a craving. Make the craving unattractive. You start to associate negative emotions with the habits that you want to stop. This way, you refrain from doing them despite having the cue. Associating laziness and lethargicness with social media will stop you from doom scrolling. Think about the overstimulation that you are getting and the other more productive things that you can do. Do not shame yourself. Rather, take a different perspective from your habits and realize its harm towards your time and health. Over time, you develop a negative feeling towards social media and you find that it's harder for you to doom scroll. Make the response difficult. You decide that this is still not enough, so instead you delete your social media apps off your phone. This helps your response towards the craving as it becomes more difficult to initiate the habit since you would have to download and log into your social media apps again. Creating barriers or obstacles to make your response towards a particular habit more difficult makes it harder for the habit itself to be executed, effectively reducing the chances of you doing that habit. By creating as much friction as possible, your habits will soon disappear slowly. Make the reward unsatisfying. The final step you decide to take to finally remove your bad habits is to make it as unsatisfying as possible. The best way to do this is to track your habits and offer yourself a consequence due to your actions. If you procrastinate by scrolling too much social media and wasting time, try restricting yourself to one hour of leisure the next day to get back on track. Having being held accountable for all your habits makes you see the progress and if you are improving or not. We cannot improve if we don't admit that we ourselves are accountable for our actions.